Got you. Okay, yeah. now last question. Who are you guys voting for? Trump. 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 Okay, Trump. Why Trump so that people can understand? For my position in the banking industry, it's a lot about the regulatory environment. And when he was in before, for every new regulation the government put out, his policy was they tried to cut two regulations. I see. So, so my industry is probably the second most regulated industry in the United States, banking and finance. Okay. And that's huge. Democrats sure. are in, in office, um, right or wrong, there's more regulatory burden on banks. So from a small bank, which compares to small business, when your revenue, gross revenue is three million a year and your audit burden is six figures, relate that to a small business owner, that's that's a lot. That comes yeah. What's going on? Listen, we're about to react to Snooze Knows where he is going to ask millionaires who they're voting for. He will take it to Beverly Hills or Rodale Drive. Make sure you go to his channel, show some love and support, let him know I sent you. In the meantime, sit back and react with your boy. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Also, if you have any suggestions, go in my Instagram or my Twitter and leave a message in my inbox. Let's go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video, man. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Snooge. Now, how you guys doing? I'm Snooge. Rob. Rob. Sheree. Sheree, nice to meet you guys. What do you guys do for work? Uh, I work at a bank. You work at a bank? Yeah. At what position? Uh, CFO. How about you? I own a CPA firm. So how long have you guys been doing that for? 30 years. 20 years. 20 years? You both like it? Yeah. yeah. How much can one make in your position uh, this year? Uh, you can make two to 500,000. Okay, how about you? Five to 700,000. Now, how do you guys get to your Money. positions? Did you have to go to school? Yes. Did you, um, like, both of you guys went to yeah. school? Yes. Okay, uh, and then is it kind of like work your way up, join the right company, and then start your own thing? Is that that's hard work? That's yeah. what you did. Yeah. Okay, how about you? Um, started a um, entry level, a small bank, went to a large bank, got experience, and then went back to a small bank. Got you. Okay, yeah. now last question. Who are you guys voting for? Trump. Trump, okay, Trump. Trump. Why Trump so that people can understand? For my position in the banking industry, it's a lot about the regulatory environment, and when he was in before, for every new regulation the government put out, his policy was they tried to cut two regulations. I see. So so my industry is probably the second most regulated industry in the United States, banking and finance. Okay. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That's the most important part because money make the world go round. Regardless of everything else, money come first. I don't know. It may sound a little off to a lot of y'all, but just think about it. Without the money, there's nothing in place, you understand? Without the money, everything will fall apart. That's just the obvious right there, right? I like how he questions them. I like how he gets into their mind. This way you can see their mindset. His questioning technique is very brilliant. I like how he gets into the finances and he actually asked them, you know, how did they get to this success? He's not just running up on them and just saying, hey, look, listen, who you voting for? Uh, how much you make? This guy's brilliant right here. And that's huge. Democrats sure. are in, in office, um, right or wrong, there's more regulatory burden on banks. So from a small bank, which compares to small business, when your revenue, gross revenue is three million a year and your audit burden is six figures, relate that to a small business owner, that's that's a lot. That comes yeah. that impacts not just employees, owners, but also customers. Definitely. Okay. Because we do taxes yeah. and accounting and our business is all small businesses. So uh, Republicans are and conservatives are for small business. I see. Democrats are for big business. Democrats want to basically screw small businesses. Republicans and conservatives are to help small business, you know, capitalism. Democrats are for socialism. So for us, it's all about small business. So we are for Trump because Trump is for capitalism, small businesses, free market. Free market. So we don't we don't like Democrats. Yeah. You yeah. know, they that that's not what we're for. So listen, when she say Democrats, us as civilians cannot get triggered by that. I'm gonna explain to you why you should never ever be triggered by words at the same time, right? Democrats meeting the ones who write the bills. You guys are not the one who write the bills. So get your feelings out the way. Remember, ego is never your amigo, okay? She's talking about the bill writers, you know? The naysayers, the ones who say yay, the ones who say nay, and it counts. Not you with the opinions.
Don't forget that. Don't let them divide us. What this country was built on. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm what's Snooge. What's your name? Ted. Ted. What, what, are you Filipino? Or? Yep. Yeah, me too, bro. What do you do for work? Man, I saw you pull up in the Lambo. You do um, something. I mean construction. Construction. Yeah, we do a lot of uh, commercial industrials. Uh, hey, yo, Snooge. I know a little bit of Tagalog. I just had to let you know that right there, right? And one of my favorite dishes, one of my favorite dishes is chicken adobo. Just so you know. Concrete polishing stuff, but we're, okay. yeah. So it's like, it's your company or? Yeah, yeah, I have a couple partners. We also do uh, like real estate. Real estate okay, stuff, cool. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, construction? Yeah. And owning that. Years. 20 plus years. Yeah. Wow. How old are you? I'm 44, man. What the? I yeah. thought this guy was like 31. <laughs> what the? That's not Filipino Yo, genetic. How much can one make per year doing that? 50 mil. 50 mil? Now, how does one even get into that, that position, like mm. making 50 mil, owning a construction company? How, um, how did you do it? Did you have to go to school? Did you join the well, right, yeah, like meet the no, right it was people? Yeah, actually me and my brother. We actually have, uh, it's me and my brother. He did business, I did accounting, so we partnered up. Okay. We have actually another partner. Did you guys have to have any money down or how did you yeah, like well, we yeah. actually worked out of our um, we were building a house so we were working out of our apartment. So it started with building one house. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, actually our office was our apartment. Okay. And then um, we turned our living room into an office. So when you got the first client or what was like the first big job? How did that you even know, we, we started doing public works jobs. We just bid, bid, bid uh... like all schools throughout California. And what was the big break? Like to turn the corner where you're like, okay, now we're gonna start making money. Uh, you know what, we just kept our overhead low. We didn't take pay, we didn't take any pay. And we just got like whatever we needed in the very beginning and then we just, um, just busted ass and pretty much that's it. No, I feel it. Now, last question. Who do you want the president of the United States to be? Trump, baby. Trump, that's who you're voting for? Yeah. For Tell sure. people why Trump. Every, everybody has their own position. I mean, it's like, I think it's whoever benefits, whichever one benefits you the most. And I think Trump benefits me and my family. Yeah. So. That's why I'm going. The country is a big, huge business, and I think being a businessman, he knows how to run it. Helps a lot. Right. It's almost as if whoever people pick is subjective in a sense because only because like he said everyone has their own point of view and their reason of why they're picking who they're picking you know it, it may be just one specific policy but to me it's the most important policy ever the most important one the one that got us where we at today and that's the money don't nothing move but the money you understand what i'm saying without the flow of currency the world would be in shambles you heard me the world how you doing? Doing well, thank you. I'm Snooge. Hi. I'm Melody. I'm Gio. Gio, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? I do real estate investments. Okay. How long? I think I bought my first home when I was 17. 17? Now how old do you know? 31? 44. What? Yeah. Damn, why do you, what's the secret to your skincare <laughs> regimen? Water. water, that's it? That's it. Nothing Nothing else? Water. Oh, it's all water. Now, how much can one make per year doing what you do? Like, what was like, like maybe your best year, you would say? My best year was probably like 1.5. 1.5? Now, how, how did you get there, though? Honestly, the first thing I did was, was get a job at McDonald's. And I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. And that, that motivated me to push myself. That's how I got to be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. you talk to entrepreneurs, I would ask. Listen, you got to start from somewhere and a hunger has to be there in order for you know in order for you to know where you want to take it. Without that, you wouldn't know where to take it. Ask me, hey, what do you do? And I would just hear people out. Oh, so McDonald's was the gateway. It was the gateway. But you you, you utilized it as a tool instead of just like, See? oh, let me just work. So you just, okay, so then you met somebody, like a, a, a customer? No, I started thinking, I was like, well, how can I make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time? And then I started weighing my options. You know, I, I figure real estate has collateral. If I do like stock stock investments, you know, there's not always a collateral there to back you up. Yeah. So either way, at least in worst case, I'll make my money back up. Right. You know, and that's the best way to do it because I'm sure a few of y'all know some people who you can go ahead and call and you can make it so fast. But guess what? Guess what, baby? You will see 30 years into the future doing something like that. So slow down with your roll. So that's that's how I got it. So that's how you, okay, for sure. Now, last question. Who are you guys voting for? Sir. I'm going to go for Trump. Trump? Okay. Okay. She she just came to the country, so oh, okay. she's still getting appointed. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. So, hey. Trump, why? So that people can understand. Well, that's I mean, he's a businessman, and he's looking for ways to improve the economy in this country. And as a business owner myself, I want to align myself with the right people for a business mentality pol politician. I feel That's that. What's up, man? What's your name? What's Alberto. Alberto, nice to meet you. Nice. What do you What do you do for work? How do you make money? I work in retail, actually. Okay. What 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 do you do? 
I'm a salesperson. And are you allowed to say the brand, the company? Um, no. Is it luxury? Yeah, is it? Luxury, oh, yeah. you're luxury. How much can one make per year doing what you do? Anywhere between 100 to 50K. 150K. Oh. oh, damn. Yeah. So six figures for sure. Yeah. Okay, then it must be like a real luxury high yeah, end. Yeah, okay, yeah. for sure. Now, how did you get into that position? Did you just apply? Listen, retail in New York City is $19.99 an hour. I don't think you get more than that. Um, Entry and then work your way up, or how's that work? Pretty much. I have 15 years of experience. Prior? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so you build up your resume and... Experience. Okay. So did you have to go to school for that? Nope. Okay. So no school, just no college, six figures a year. It's yep. pretty damn good. Yep. Last question. Who are you voting for? Who am I voting for? Who are you voting for? Um... Who's going to be the president of the U.S. of A? I'm going to go ahead and say Kamala. Kamala. Why Kamala? That. So the people can understand. I'm going to choose Kamala just because from, from what I've heard of, she believes what I believe. So, what do you, you believe? know, I'm a Mexican-American. Trump doesn't support Mexicans. So. Oh, man. Here we go with this right here. Here we go with this right here. From what he hears, right? Not from what he knows. From what he hears right he heard through the grapevine he say she say oh i'm sorry with the pronouns they them say he she them i don't know something like that but back to the script he's into his motions and i see i see i see this has to do with a level of finance and mindset it's sad it's sad it's sad it's sad but oh man Never forget that. Never forget that saying to be as if you have to act as if. So if you're down here, you, why are you hating at someone who's over here? Or why don't you want to see what's going on up here? Right. So you can get up there. Why do you want to stay right here and have the oppressed mentality? You understand what I'm saying? It's 2024, baby. There's no excuses. It's all out there. Money is everywhere. That's what it is. All right, how you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Larry. Larry, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice what do you, you. What do you do for work? How do you make your money? Uh, I I work for a public real estate company. Public. B2B, yeah. Uh, what kind of company? Uh, B two B. B. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. E-commerce. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you able to say like what it is exactly? Yeah. The, uh, help people to transact. Uh, you know, trade furniture, so those kind of uh, big and bulky stuff. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you work for them, or you own it, or? I own it. Oh, you own it. Okay. Yeah. How long you been doing that for? Yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. How much can one make per year doing that? Best year. I'm a founder. So best year. Uh, last year, ninety four million. Ninety four million. So he's yeah. the real deal, huh? Now, how does one even become a founder of something like that? Now, look. This is why I always tell people: don't judge people by how they look, the type of clothes they wear. The majority of people out here, they just walk in tags. You understand what I'm saying? They're mo they're basically consumers. Look what he's wearing. I mean, Under Armour is up there but it's not there with the designers you understand but still look what he's wearing y'all pay attention look what snooge is wearing i'm i'm sure snooge ain't broke he far from it you understand most of the times a lot of people like to wear designer clothes so they can probably make you think that they're in this so-called class you understand notice the people who he's approaching no one is super flashy everyone is tame everyone is tame did you did you go to school for that or no yeah i uh i went to business school yeah okay so you went to business school then after yeah. business school how did you like start that company exactly i started uh, actually i started um, a company for uh we, we do software outsourcing uh, software outsourcing Japan, okay and, okay uh, it didn't make it and pivot to uh, e-commerce later e-commerce okay nice and like did you like is it like joining the right partners and investors or how to yeah we, we got investors of uh, the venture capitalist invested in us on day one but okay. uh, we gradually have uh, more of those until we got the public listed see now do you have any advice to like the aspiring entrepreneur to get to your position one day oh uh, to make 96 mil that's crazy yeah i think yeah, it's, it's just difficult, you know, it's yeah, not of really for everyone, and, yeah. uh, and, you know, you need uh, everything including hard working and the vision and sometimes the luck. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Uh, now, last question. Are you here in the U.S. now? Yeah. Who are you voting for? Uh, yeah, I just uh, feel no offending to those uh, Democratic, but uh, I just don't feel that they're using the tax we paid 
you know, wisely. Mm. You know, the, the ways a lot of those. The Democratic Party. Yeah. Okay, so you feel... He, he can say that. You understand? His money goes towards the help. He can say that. Like, the Republican will get us back to that. They, they have a, you know, better idea about the business, how to use money. Yeah, that's my impression. Okay, how yes. you doing, sir? Good, sir. I, I'm Snooge. What's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. What do you do for a living? I, I have a small business. Small business? What kind of business is it? Jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah. Is it here? Yeah. U.S.? Yeah. Is, how much can one make per year doing that best year? Like uh, 45 to 70 million. So 40? That's not a small business. Yes. <laughs> 45 to 30. <laughs> now, how did you start this jewelry business in the beginning? Oh, man, I got a very hard work. Like, uh, you know. So, you, so how old were you when you started? That time my age is like at 22. 22, and you're now 30, right? Yeah, no, 54. <laughs> so, okay, so you started 22. Yeah. And what did, did you need any money down, or how did you start? I started a small business like a sunglasses. Oh, so sunglasses first. Yeah. Name brand or no name brand? No, no, no. Okay, so then, and then. You could tell when he came to this country, he came with one thing on his mind, right? Pause, no ditty. That's to hustle. And that's exactly what he did. It looked like he went from one industry to the next, and he just he just kept seeing where where the opportunity was best at, and he just kept jumping at the opportunity every time and never missed us. I mean, I'm sure he went through the struggle, but look where he at now. After the sunglass, what happened? After the sunglass, I have a gas station. Gas station? Okay. Did you need money down for that? No. Huh. This is like a smaller gas station. Yeah. How like how much? This is I got the leaves. That oh, time, lease. You don't need the down, nothing. And you can make money from yes. a lease? Yes. Oh, okay. So then after that, you save money? Yeah, and I open that jewelry. The jewelry. I have a port business right now, port jewelry store. Oh, my gosh. Who are you voting for? Uh, Donald for Trump. Donald Trump. Why? Look so the that. people could and understand. He's Indian. Because that time, I, I actually, I'm a Republican, Democratic, okay. but no more. After I Biden, you're no more. more yeah. Okay. Because we're going to pay too much taxes. Pay too much taxes. we're going to hard work. We pay a lot of money. And without paper, they're going to enjoy here. We are suffering. Most people, see, look, most people will say, that's selfish. They only care about their money. Listen, without the money, there's no honey. No honey, no money, baby. So what I'm trying to say is like this. Without the flow of currency, everything would just stop immediately. You saw what happened with the... You know, with the boom, boom, boom. Remember when that happened and everything shut down? Yeah, exactly. So a lot of businesses, a lot of companies went out of business just because of that, because it stopped. So no, it's not selfish. If you don't, if you don't have millions, your objective is to try to at least get to the millions. And I'm not saying you need to be filthy rich, but at least you want to be able to be comfortable and call shots. And when something happens, you want to be prepared instead of being scared. That's how I see it. Mm. So you want you don't want America to suffer, is what you're saying. Water cross, a lot of people coming and they got it, the medical everything free. Oh. I have a, like a lot of thing, it's a very good, but no more. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want Biden coming again. Okay, so Trump. Yeah. But okay, so I know why no Biden, but how about Trump? Why Trump? Because of when he's coming, that time business is very good. Okay, yeah, so yeah. business was good. Uh, how you doing? I'm Snooge. Snooge. What's your name? What up, San? San, nice to meet you. Oh, man, Stacks. Stacks, nice to meet you. Okay. What do you guys do for a living? I'm in production. Production, okay, yeah. like music production? Oh, or, no, like or... lighting. Oh, okay, lighting. Okay, how about you? Yeah, multimedia production. Okay, nice. Now, how long you guys been doing it for? Uh, I would say about five years. Five years? Yeah. You guys like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay. 100%. Nice, nice, nice. How much can one make per year doing what you guys do? 350, 400. Pretty good. You know, in a year. Nice, yeah. Sure. How about yeah. you? Yeah, man, shit, it's limitless, man. It's really, it depends on you. Like six figures uh, or so? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, how does one get into that um, that type of career? Like, what did you guys have to do? Is it like meeting the right people or um, just applying in that kind of company? Or It's a little bit of uh, meeting the right people and just putting yourself in that, that position. Is that what you did? You know, yeah, 100%. Okay, okay you know, for sure. the right people having to the right work ethic, I would say. Okay. You know what I mean? Just willing to take that, that next step, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, Just going above, over and beyond, you know what I mean, for the jobs at, at hand, because they say, uh, don't prepare for the job you have. I mean, don't settle for the job you have, prepare for the job you want, you Ooh, know? Ooh, okay, so, first time dope. I heard that one. I like that, how about you? Yeah, man, nah, man, you know, you just gotta pursue what you want, 
do what you gotta do, you know? If it turns into a hobby, whatever you like to do, whatever you spend your money on, that's what you pursue. You pursue. Of course, you know of saying? course, yeah. So, now, last question. Who are you guys voting for for the president of the USA? Both of them smoking crack right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you had to pick, both of y'all. Trump. Okay, we got Trump over here. Trump. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with Camilla, for sure. Camilla? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And she's black, so fuck it. Okay. So tell us, yeah. tell the reason why Camilla, and then you say why Trump. If you only say it's because of a skin color, it, it's just funny to me right now. They, it's, they turn this into, it's, you don't see the racism in this? Just pay attention. <laughs> this is, yo, know, the irony in this is, it's asinine. I'm gonna say Camilla because she's black. I'm gonna just go with that, yo. I feel like, you should be prejudiced as black people, you know what I mean? Like, yo, go for yours. You know, it's been 300 years, it's been against your ass, go for it. How are you? <laughs> Why Trump? Shit, sure, pro Bitcoin and guns, man, you know what I'm saying? Make America great again, that's it, man. We know, we on it. You gotta, you gotta show the world who in charge again. See, he know what he's talking about. His man is lost right now. I don't know if they even both capping, but hopefully they not. You understand what I'm saying? But listen, shout out to Snooge again. Hey, you know some things, my man. You know some things. Yo, if you made it, if you made it to this part of the video, consider hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, if you have any suggestions, you can leave an inbox message on my Instagram or Twitter. X. See you in the next one.